question was offered to me uh, from our parish school, which I think it, it's um, helpful for all of us to delve into every once in a while. But what's the difference between humility and pride? And how does the Bible talk about that? So first, you know, we always have to define what we're talking about. You know, a definition of, of humble or humility, uh, the dictionary definition is that of not being proud or arrogant. Uh, another is having a feeling of insignificance, inferiority, subservience, etc. Uh, and there's others. Uh, from the church's definition, you know, humility is uh, the quality by which a person considering his own defects or faults has a lowly opinion of himself and willingly submits himself to God and others for God's sake. So both of those definitions, they talk about a person who's humble. You know, and, um, one of the things that humility is not is thinking ourselves as lower than dirt. So kind of a false sense of humility. Another definition of humility is uh, uh, that I've received is observing reality for what it is. Um, so for me, uh, I'm six foot tall. Uh, I'm never going to reach, you know, probably past that. Um, nor am I probably ever going to be an astronaut or uh, those kinds of things. It's not to say that uh, some, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's just reality. So that's the best way to say it. Pride, uh, a dictionary definition is uh, this. A high or inordinate opinion of one's own dignity, importance, merit, or superiority. Uh, so what this is maybe saying to me, at least, is pride is thinking too highly of ourselves. And yes, we might have many gifts and talents. And maybe, you know, uh, an, uh, an example is that, um, you know, a player who's good at basketball, um, that they can hit a three-pointer from any spot or they uh, can do some really remarkable things and dribbling and passing and all those things. You know, they're good, but then what if they're cocky about it or if they kind of brag or throw it in people's face of how good they are? It's kind of off-putting. It's rude, you know, to say the least. So where in the Bible do we hear about humility and pride? We hear about pride a lot in the book of Proverbs. Um, so there's uh, four verses. Um, uh, Proverbs eight thirteen, To fear the Lord is to hate evil. And this is God speaking. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior and perverse speech. From Proverbs 11, 2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. Proverbs 16, verse 5. The Lord detests all the proud of heart. Be sure of this, they will not go unpunished. Lastly, Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goes before destruction. A haughty spirit before a fall. So we get the glimpse that pride is not a good thing to have. You know, it's actually a bad thing. And so maybe another definition from uh, uh, of of humility, you know, comes from Saint Paul's letter to the Colossians, where he lists a few different things, and he writes these words: "Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility." gentleness and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. A final passage that I think is really important comes from the Gospels, where Jesus uh, tells the story about um, a Pharisee or a scribe or a priest, I can't remember the exact title of the person, and a tax collector. The, uh, the, the first person, the one who is living an upright life, in a way prays to himself. He says, look at all I do. I tithe, I do this, I do that. And then the tax collector, can. it says, he can barely lift his eyes towards heaven, but he beats his breast and says, have mercy on me, a sinner. I think that's a symbol of humility, is a sign of, of a humble person. Seeing reality, knowing that uh, what he has done and is doing is not good, but uh, also is confident that God wants to forgive him. So I hope that th that's helpful. Humility, again, it's uh, seeing things as they really are. You know, I'm never going to be past six foot tall 
or I'm never going to have, uh, uh, not need glasses unless I were to get LASIK, but um, yeah, that might happen down the road, but, um, or that I'm never going to be an astronaut. You know, those things are not within, you know, reality. You know, if I, you know, quit doing what I do right now and maybe studied for the rest of my life, I could maybe be an astronaut, but, you know, they usually pick people who are smart or have been doing this for years and years rather than a newbie. In pride, as I said, it's very off-putting. You know, a person who's cocky throws it in our face or brags. Um, it's not very pleasant to receive. So uh, we may, we might turn again to those prayers or the, the prayer of the uh, of the tax collector in the temple. Have mercy on me, a sinner.